Hey guys, this is Miff K. Um, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial for Oxygen Not Included. After the most recent update, the Outbreak update, you can now use Debug to spawn in base layouts and creatures and all sorts of things. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to do this so that you guys could go ahead and try it out um, with your own games. So I just started a new game here just so you could kind of get an idea of how everything's going to work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click backspace to enable debug. Make sure I didn't screw it up. Okay. Um, so what debug used to be is it used to mainly just be this box. I think there was a way to spot, like to create this sort of interface here, but I didn't know how to do that. So it's good that it's now much more easy to access, but, um, and now there's definitely a lot more going on. So, um, what you're going to want to do is to create, like, if you want to duplicate an area, all you have to really do is click this little arrow right up here that, um, will let you select an area. And let's say I really like how these plants are. I'm going to go ahead and call the plants to... I'm guessing if I overwrite the other plants, something bad's gonna happen. I'm not actually sure, but we don't need to go into that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And now we should have, there we go, it's right there. And then if I wanna duplicate that, I just click it. And you can see there's this little area box that's telling you where it's all gonna go. And if I just click doop, it will duplicate that area right there. Um, and you can do that with anything. You can do that with buildings. I think you can do it with dupes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see if that's a thing. And this little thing right here will deselect an area. So let, let's say I like select that and I'm like, wait, no, I don't want the um, algae or whatever in there. I can just do that and then that'll deselect that area. Um, let's say I really like Jean and I want there to be multiple genes. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can duplicate dupes. I don't think I can, but let's just see if that works. Frick, Jean, come back! No! Okay, so it can't duplicate dupes. Okay, so that's a good thing to know. Another thing though that you do want to know is even though it can't duplicate dupes, it can delete dupes. So you kind of want to be careful that you don't screw up. Um, so yeah, so basically, and another thing is if you were to um, overlap things that exist, this thing up here, that's the starting base template, so that's this right here. Um, for one, it's going to delete all the dupes if I do that, so you kind of don't want to do that, but um, you can see there's some other glitches that happen when I overlap. Oh, it didn't actually- okay, yeah. So see how this is like, the tile is um, all kind of screwed up right here and it thinks that these guys are floating. That's one of the things, that's one of the glitches that can happen if you overlap um, areas, so you don't really want to do that. And also, I deleted everyone, but if you really wanted to add a dupe back in because you're like, oh no, I deleted all them, it's not going to necessarily give you the exact dupe that you accidentally deleted, but if you go control F2, it'll create a new dupe. And you can see she's kind of just hanging out there because these tiles are like ghost tiles and you can walk through them. Anyway, so that's basically how that works, and if you guys want to see, these ones will actually, the game will actually turn these into YAML files, so you can actually go in and take a look at those. If you go to, um, under common, oxygen not included, oxygen not included data, streaming assets, and then you go to templates, you'll see these are all, um, different things that have been spawned that I've created. These are all ones I've created. 
So if you want your own, you can just put them right into the templates folder. You can kind of see this one I usually use to delete dupes. You can see it's just oxygen, and if I just paste that where a dupe is, it'll delete it because it'll replace the dupe with oxygen. So that's just kind of an idea of how this works. I'm going to go ahead and paste some of these files for you so you guys can go ahead and add them to your game and kind of see how they work. And then you can create your own. So yeah, that's basically how that works, and I hope that that was helpful.